Keeping a dog comes with a lot of responsibility. Dogs are very high maintenance pets that require a lot of time, effort, attention and patience. They love to be with their humans, whether it's cuddling, playing, feeding or just lounging. Dogs cannot be left alone for long periods of time. They are not very independent and rely on their owners to live a healthy and happy life. An important part of caring for a dog is taking them for regular walks. Dogs are curious and often energetic and love to go exploring with their owners, even if it's always the same route. Unfortunately, not everyone has the time to do this every day. One study found that nearly 50% of pet owners don't walk their dogs regularly. So what happens if you don't walk your dog? Does that make you a bad pet owner or is it actually not that bad? Find out in this video. Number 1. He does not get enough exercise. Dogs need exercise to be healthy and happy, and a walk is a great way to get some exercise. This is especially true if you don't have a yard where he can run around whenever he wants. Veterinarians point out that sometimes dogs need to be forced to exercise. The problem is that sometimes dogs need as much motivation as we do to exercise. Most of us would agree that going for a walk or exercising with a friend is more fun than doing it alone. Our dogs probably feel the same way. If your dog gets plenty of exercise by playing with you in the backyard or at a dog park that you take him to regularly, that's great. Maybe you don't need to take him for walks as often. But if he never really gets out of the apartment, it will hurt the four-legged friend. Number 2. He gets bored, which leads to bad behavior. One of the best things about walking your dog is that you keep him entertained while you do it. Dogs can get bored easily, and that boredom doesn't just cause them to lie around lazily, it often leads to bad behavior. Unwanted behavior from your dog is often due to frustration and boredom. A dog that is bored and has energy to burn will look for something to do to amuse themselves. These things will most likely not amuse you. If your dog is chewing everything, digging holes, or just being annoying, he may need to get rid of his energy on a walk. Number 3. He doesn't learn how to be social. Another benefit of taking your dog for a walk? He has the opportunity to see and maybe even meet other dogs. If your dog isn't taught how to be social, he may not be as friendly with other dogs, which could lead to problems in the future. Walking is a great opportunity to show your dog how to interact socially with new animals. It also helps build your dog's confidence so he's less afraid to make friends. A baby to other children or people, he won't learn how to behave around other children and may have trouble in school and with friends later on. It is the same with dogs. Number 4. He does not learn anything about his environment. Dogs are curious by nature and want to explore. They can't do that if they're cooped up in a house all the time, and after a while, exploring your own backyard might get a little boring. Walking allows your dog to see, smell, and hear new things and helps them learn about their surroundings. Your dog depends on you to take him out to explore the sights, smells, and sounds of the world, and it is recommended that you change the places you take your dog as often as possible. Number 5. His mind is not so active anymore. Regular walks give dogs much needed physical exercise, but they are also a mental activity. Walking around the neighborhood gives your dog a chance to get to know the people in his territory through his sense of smell and keeps his mind active, this is just as important to your dog's health and happiness as physical fitness. Number 6. You don't take advantage of the moments of training. If you're having a hard time training your dog or teaching him certain things, you might want to try more regular walks. Without them, you're missing out on some great training moments. A walk is a great opportunity to practice basic obedience. There are endless opportunities to teach your dog sit, down, stay, etc. Number 7. You both miss a bonding moment. Dogs love to be active, but they also love to be with you, and a walk combines the two. Taking your dog for a walk is a great way for the two of you to get closer, and isn't that what everyone wishes they could do with their pet? If you liked the video, I would be very happy about a thumbs up. Also feel free to write me your experience with this topic in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell, so you won't miss any new video in the future.